Right, I have my uh, balance lead soldered up. It should be good. And let's put uh, our charge on here. Uh, okay, so let's set the um, okay, 4S LIFE 6 amp. Okay. Oh, this is fine. Let's go. Start. Unbalanced. Set it unbalanced. Press OK. Okay, so it's. I think this is pretty much charged anyway, so I'm expecting the balance uh, light to come on pretty quickly because these, these probably aren't too balanced. So you can charge. Lithium iron phosphate to 14.4. Oh yeah, there we go. So we've got a a cell imbalance there. Uh, what do we add here? 14.6. It's not that much. I mean, it, the battery is is actually pretty much charged, um, and it's the balancer is working, so it is um, correcting the the imbalance in the cells there between the whole lot of them. So with time. I would say um, it'll probably even them out fairly well and should be okay. Right now one of those cells or one of these cell groups could be at you know 3.75 or something like that because they do tend to shoot up pretty quick um, towards the end of the charge. So you can see it's 14.6 there on the on the charger. Um, but we're we're still charging at a, a low amperage and it decided to finish yeah so that's it now the balancer is still going so that means one of these cells is still pretty high and uh, it's trying to get it back down uh, yeah so um, I'll leave it be and let it balance away um, I'm going to attach this which has a XT60 on it so that'll uh, this will be my charging lead. It only needs to carry six amp, so that's fine. It'll well be able to deal with that. Uh, okay, so I'll pop this um, pop this lead on, and then I can get it situated into the UPS, and then we'll test it. Okay, it's back in the UPS. Um, so there's a a lot more space in there so um, I'm gonna have to glue in I glue in the battery pack, hot, hot glue in the battery pack and uh, glue up all these. So I put a breaker in um, and this is just a screw down connector and my charging lead I don't know I'm gonna probably make a drill a hole here and bring it out there um, so I didn't switch this on yet so let's do it live <laughs> and hopefully nothing blows up so actually the breaker's off so that's probably why I really need to tidy up here first but anyway let's turn on the breaker and turn on the UPS Well, that was uh, interesting. First time it didn't come on, probably because it was dead. So it's flashing. Oh yeah, there we go. Flashing online now. And okay, I guess it's officially online, <laughs> which means these receptacles are now live and everything. And there's live too, so I better not touch anything. So I'm going to get, um, I don't hear any buzz or anything like that, so that's a bit strange, but anyway, I need to get a load, so I'm going to get a, a cable for this, and we'll try some small load. Okay, so I have that plugged in, we have a light down there, and I guess, yeah, I'm a charging light on the laptop, so let's... Uh, A bit more load on it. Okay. 
Great. And that's a 17 inch laptop. Let's see on my amp meter how many amps we're pulling through the inverter. So it's well, it's not, uh, it might be more than 2 amp. Uh, DC zeroed out. Right. Okay, it's more than 2 amp. Let's go to 20. Zero. AC. DC. Zero. So four amps that laptop has taken. And what's that? That is let's see four by four by twelve. About fifty watt. With the inverter losses and everything. Okay, so the the thing oh that just dropped off for a second. Did my power go there, I wonder? Hmm. I don't think so, but... Anyway... We'll see, we'll monitor that. Just in case something happened with the... UPS. Yeah, so again, I, uh, I disabled the speaker on this uh, UPS because... Um, it would be very annoying to have that running for maybe an hour or two hours running a load and then uh, yeah beeping all that time wouldn't be usable so okay so I have to just glue this all back together and we are good to go great okay battery is glued in place circuit breaker is glued in place this is taped up. I'm just going to leave this loose with the, in the cover. Um, the balancer is glued on top. Hopefully the batteries won't heat up that much. And this hot glue uh, should be okay even up to 40 degrees or something like that. And that's it. Just have to pop back on the cover now. And then we'll do maybe a runtime test. Probably not in this video. Anyway, I'll uh, pop it back together and then I'll finish off the video. Okay, it's back together. Charging lead and UPS, which is switched on. That light does flash. Not sure why, but we're getting 240 volts or 230 volts all the time. So we're... Uh, yeah, we're good to go. So that's... Uh, Fourteen amp hour UPS uh, lithium iron phosphate UPS well battery backup whatever you want to call it so it'll run devices laptops uh, I had uh, the glue gun actually on and that was what is it one fifty watt. And it was, yeah, it was pulling around 12 amps. So that's pretty good. And didn't break a sweat. So I'd say this inverter in this unit is not bad. I can probably do a little bit more. I saw two 40 amp fuses inside, which leads me to believe it can do a nice uh, peak current. Okay, anyway, if you like this video, Please give it a like and subscribe. Okay, thanks.